keep up her rich. Agent says he left the AMP house. Let's see what Agent's talking about, man. <laughs> butt slap. Nigga really said butt slap. Oh, my God, bro. All right. Put that over there. Let's get it. What's good, fellas? The title is not... What's good, niggas? That's how you said it started. What's good, niggas? What's good, fellas? The title is not Cap. I am going to be moving out of this crib. I was really excited when I moved in here. I actually am still excited about it. I guess the title is half Cap. Nobody really ever got like a full room tour because when we post... That's why I want to be rich. To to move out of a mansion and then just not and just not even really care. Yeah, I was it was, was kind of excited, you know, to move into a mansion. A fucking mansion. That's why I want to be rich. I'd love to be rich. Agent looked like he worked at Metro PCS. <laughs> what? Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Can y'all niggas just chill for a second? Can y'all niggas chill for a second, bro? Like one second, bro. Like, like, just what, nigga, we just, we are 11 seconds into this video, my nigga. 11 seconds into the video, bro. 11 seconds, bro. Calm down, bro. 11 seconds. It was half cap. Nobody really ever got, like, a full room tour. Because when we posted the AMP house tour on the AMP channel, not gonna lie, my room was not really ready. And that's because, as I'm about to show you in a second, this room was constructed, like, days before that video had a chance to go live. All right, check a look. This room right here was a sunroom. I put up these the walls. We constructed these walls. This nigga the dog be gonna say he ain't wrong, though. When we move out, we could take this down, return the house to how it was, and fold them up so we can use it in the next house for a video. So that right there presents like a few problems. Starting is that this is not a real room and you feel it kind of when you step inside. When it's very hot outside, there's no AC that'll save me. It'll be very hot I can in feel here. It when and I vice versa, inside. I haven't tried winter in here, but I've had some cold days. Oh, well, this is either too low or too high. I don't want this video to come off like I'm complaining because I've been blessed with like a lot. I'm very well aware of that. This is no, it's not complaints. It's really more of an explanation so y'all get why. With all that being said, I have probably next to Kai like the biggest room in the crib. This is a big room, bro. So my room was fully constructed like four or five days before the video went live. The video was edited in like two days. They gave me a few days to put everything together. This is my official room now. I have my little instruments here, my little gaming collection here. I have my utility desk over here with a whole bunch of controllers masks god damn bro god, nigga god damn bro nigga yeah i need to uh, yeah yeah y'all y'all make sure y'all go over to the daquan Wilshire gaming you know sub up over there uh you know so we can uh get another one of these and uh and, and then and then make sure y'all sub the my regular channel, Daquan Wilshire, so we can get one of these. You know what I'm saying? Because God damn, bro. I, I like that, man. All them play buttons, bro. God damn, bro. Masks, mixers, consoles, awards. My setup has conveniently stayed the same. I've figured out something that works. I don't need to do anything overkill. Three mon. Agent got them post breastfeeding titties. Here's the camera I record videos on. Here's the camera that hopefully I'll be streaming bro. soon on. It pivots and everything. Look at this, man. Y'all seriously need help, bro. I see the Vaseline and lotion on the desk. Big ups. <laughs> this is a big ups. Isn't that beautiful? Speaking about my utility closet, has everything I might need. Top layer is for cameras. Second layer is for all audio equipment. Third layer is accessory stuff like batteries, the hats that I need for videos. And I got so bored that I bought this so I can, like, light things up. So... I don't even know how I can begin to apologize for that audio blunder. I used to be so good at spitting in other directions. Nowadays, I just spit on the mic. I hope that you find it in your heart. If this thing gonna get another YouTube play button, he gonna get an OnlyFans play button if he keeps spitting like that. Dog looks like the straight out of Compton celebrity rehab version of Psycho Bob. That's terrible. To forgive me, Daquan West, you be looking like Daquan Kanye West. West slash Pop Smoke Beard. Okay. But I got a question for Tall Motherfucker. 
Store. Would you ever stream from mobile P? And when the fuck yeah. are you gonna start actually playing games on I'm your channel? We've I'm been waiting, to. but we noticed delays. So what's uh, the hold I'm up, going homie? To, bro. I'm no going pressure, to. just curious. Double G. Dequan two. Dequan Samuel. And I'm and I'm not doing an in real life stream. I get banned so fast. He's spitting on more things than a mic. Yes, yes, bro. <laughs> we we, we kind of got that, my nigga. <laughs> Come on, bro. Agent can spit on some else. Right. Eyes. Come on, y'all. Chill. Come on. Chill, bro. And then there's a big AMP chill, logo kind of lighting up the room regardless of whether or not the lights are on or off. My room like permanently has like a yellow tint. Sorry, it's a little dark. I'm calling it now. I'm washing you in a Pokemon battle and you got a post-it on the gaming channel. Low. I'm, I'm gonna... Y'all think... Should I stream? Because I'm getting Pokemon when it comes... The only thing is though, I really like training my Pokemon. I feel like training my Pokemon at times does get boring. But it comes out in three days. What, do y'all think I should stream that? What y'all think, bro? Y'all think I should stream it? What y'all think, bro? What y'all think I should do? Y'all think I should stream that shit? Because I kind of, I low-key want to do it, but I don't know, though. Tell him I'm the Alejandro. Thank you for the four months, my nigga. Stream it? Yeah, everybody's saying, yeah. I Because I really do like training my Pokemon, though. Like, I would train those motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, for so long just to make sure I don't lose. But... Instead of doing that, you know what? Because I, I only used to do that because I didn't really know how to use moves and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know strategy, but now I know. And I know it. Nigga said, nigga, yes, nigga, stream Pokemon Pro. I'm, nigga, I got Brilliant Dot. I'm get, I got both. But nigga, I'm playing Brilliant Diamond, nigga. I want Dialga, nigga. I want, that I want Dialga, nigga. Alexa, turn it back on, please. So this desk is just like a... You know, whenever I might need some kind of desk. Put up some curtains so you know what I'm saying. I can block myself off when... Yeah, streaming. Uh, real one's going to say, all right, I got y'all. I got y'all. We can stream that. We can definitely stream that. I got y'all. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know, you know, I ain't know that y'all want that. Garchomp have to be on my team. I mean, I'm going to see. I'm, I'm going to see who's going to be on my team. We're going to see, bro. Need be. And so this is kind of just like my... Because one thing I used to do when I used to have both versions of anything, every time I would get both versions of games, what I would do is if I had two Game Boys, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I know it was an Nintendo DS. Was, no, I didn't... Yeah, did I have Game Boy? Yeah, I did have two Game Boys back in the day. The Game Boy Advance SPs. I forgot I had two of those and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I was, you know, grown. I was able to get them on my own. But I would have both versions and I would trade over the starters, like, immediately. So I could start off with all three starters. The game already leaked like last week. I'm and not saying I've played most of it, but you played it. I thought when when it leaked, I, yo, shout out to all to the, I mean, yeah, a shout out to all to the store. Thank you for the prime four months, my nigga. But um, I didn't think that you could. I didn't think you could play a leak. I thought I thought people were just like, you know, watching videos of it. Entertainment space have all my retro consoles down there. Of course, uh, of course, De of course, Dexter Live gonna say a gay boy. Beautiful OLED TV. I always wanted. I said one. a Game Boy, bro. I never said Gay Boy. I know I didn't say gay boy. Make a reaction channel when you start playing games and add another source of revenue. My my channel right now was called Gate. Yep, y'all definitely gonna be. Yep, yep, they're gonna run with that one. It's called Daquan Wilshire Gaming, and I'm it, like, look at your rage. His is your rage gaming, and he puts his shit on there, or his gaming videos and his reactions. Why can't I do the same? But the only difference is with me is I get on here and talk to y'all about a lot of shit, though, too. So it's like whenever I put shit up there, it's a whole bunch of shit. It's not just the reactions. Like, we have all these wild-ass fucking stories, videos, and shit. Most of the shit on my, my, on my gaming channel is us, like, talking. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, I don't think I should make it another one. Y'all think I should make another one for gaming, specifically? Nah, I played it. The Yuzu emulator for the Switch on PC is clutch. Oh. Oh, but wow. finally, some games for the gaming channel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'd rather do that. I'd rather do that, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Gamer from CLE. Thank you for the four months, bro. ABC, average black cock fashion. Wow. Love your streams. Love your streams. Uh, 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 Ma, of course. Keep them coming. Yep. One of those. Oh, it's good, Brother Davis. You're moving now. Yeah, I'm moving now. Where are you moving to? I was just... The thing about Yoraj is he is gaming on their MF. Yoraj. Nigga, I'm going to game. Telling the people, like, I don't really ever complain, type, because, oh, my bad. <laughs> you know there's a hummingbird currently in my room, and it's going to die if it doesn't get out by the end. Why is this nigga agent sweating? Tonight. So that's why you're moving out? No, that'd be a crazy reason to move out. So I don't want anyone to think that, like, I have beef with nobody. Like, the AMP guys are fucking incredible human beings. I think the more time I spend with them, the more I enjoy their company. And getting to know them over the course of the last year and a half on AMP has been brilliant. That's not ending anytime soon. But the unfortunate reality for me is I moved from Toronto to Atlanta, like, almost three years ago now. He's Canadian? Agent is Canadian?
When I moved, honestly, I've only been back once. And that's mainly because if I go back to Toronto, I'll miss it too much. Uh, I love Atlanta. Atlanta's I didn't cool, know that. No, I didn't know you. not Toronto to me. That's what I grew up on. I'm used to it and I yeah. prefer it. No, so I didn't I know I kind of just Canadian. stay here. Then but not just know. here. I also have another house. How you didn't know. You do realize I haven't followed every single YouTuber like since they started. I, I have, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't follow every single YouTuber and, and, you know what I'm saying, and know everything about them. I, I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Just because I watch their videos don't mean I've been, you know, I watch every video or I've seen their videos from the start or anything like that to know where they're from or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You guys remember I did a house through a Plus, you got to understand what Agent does. He when he streams like 2K, talks about sports and shit or whatever. I don't, I don't talk about that. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I mean, I don't, y'all never have seen me once talk about 2K. I don't play it. Never would. It's the same game every year. I'm not playing that. And yes, I'm going to play Pokemon every single time it comes out. I don't give a fuck if y'all think it's the, it's the same game. I'm playing this shit as a kid. I don't give a fuck. Years ago, like 15 minutes north of this house. And that house, by every imaginable metric, is better. When I moved here to the AMP house, I moved everything out of my other house. The only things I have there my other is house. That's my why bed, I can't wait to be rich. still incredibly comfortable, and a TV. Everything else is gone. I go back to that house to take showers because, unfortunately, as the room tour I showed you, I don't have any showers in this house. So in the case Bro, just imagine you saying I got to go I got to go to my other house to take a shower when there's multiple showers in this house, but one isn't yours. That's how you know a nigga's rich. That's how you know a nigga is rich. That bro, you don't even want to take a shower in somebody else's bathroom in a mansion. Rich nigga problems, bro. Case of an emergency, I can't wait to be I might, rich. Like, pop into somebody else's I can't shower, wait, bro. But most times I do like a one hour round trip just to take a shower at my other house. Those one hours kind of add up. And on top of that, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I kind of miss living with Waleed. I'm almost never at the other house anymore. Don't leave! Oh, wow. Don't leave! Wow. Agent, don't leave. I'm, you're the only person that stays here, bro. <laughs> Don't leave. Yeah, so most times, wow, I feel like 30% of the time it's just me and Davis in the crib. They, they all have responsibilities in other areas of the planet, so. But, good news for you, Davis. You'll have like 20% more time to f anywhere you want in the house. Wow. Except my room. No, you have a nice bed, bro. No. I live in a, nigga, gonna say I live in a mansion. Nigga, I live in a townhouse. I live in a regular ass townhouse, bro. I do, I do, no, I do. I might have to. No, 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 Davis, don't break it. I swear it'll break if you jump. Don't, don't. Wait, actually, I'm being dead as it was. Davis, 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 please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. I think you're gonna do it. Oh, oh my God. He really broke hey, it. man, this is my favorite mattress of all time. I'll leave a link in the description. That's <laughs> so a fact, I, MMA fan. I'm definitely gonna be the same exact nigga. I can't be anything different than what I am. If I got rich, I, if I if I got a million dollars today, not not in one day. Let's say let's say I ran up like twenty million this year. If I ran up like twenty million, y'all would see the same exact me. Y'all wouldn't think any different. The only thing y'all y'all would see me half shit. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all would see me half shit, but y'all would never see me bragging, trying to put people down or anything. Of course, this thing immortal will say you would just be gay. me? No, it is a great mattress though. Huh? How much you weigh, Davis? One ninety five. Oh wow! Congratulations, my brother. Yeah, yeah. two hundred. Dang. Yeah. Huh? Whoa! Show us something. <laughs> I was telling Phantom this the other day. Since I moved into this house, I've gained thirty pounds. Uh, I think Damn. that's because, like, I had a, a lot of good habits, like a lot of momentum when I was at the other house. God and when damn. I moved here, I had to like rebuild those. Do you remember I tried like the first month? You saw me like cooking a lot. Like, you hated it because yeah, I, I used a lot of spices. Um, the kitchen just kept getting dirty, and I don't. A black nigga hating. A black nigga don't like. A lot of seasoning? What? What? Can somebody check this nigga ethnicity? Somebody check this nigga ethnicity, bro. I know the nigga ain't black. Ain't no way this nigga black talking about he don't like seasonings. Ain't no way this nigga black. I don't like a dirty kitchen. I'm not gonna clean up someone else's mess yeah, either. Nah, I, I, I that. So the problem with going to the gym, Brother Davis, for me, is that I would love to, but it becomes like a three hour escapade. My premiere setup is gonna be here at the a &P crib. I'll be shooting most of my videos here at the a &P crib. What I would like to have the op- The nigga said you wouldn't, but Daquan Samuels would, definitely would. Daquan Samuels would definitely change. If I got, if I became rich, Daquan Samuels is going to wild out on y'all niggas, bro. Daquan Samuels will be the biggest asshole, bro. But Daquan Wiltshire, y'all would still love me for me. But y'all would hate Daquan Samuels even more than y'all already do option of doing is if I'm at the other house you don't have to yeah and I, but I I think I, I think that's a very good point and I can't even huh? we might have to talk is that Duke <laughs> oh bro I was like yo what the fuck why are they blurring out with his weed you know what I'm saying I ain't know I, was, I say you just walking out with your dick out but he may be walking with the dick out you know what I'm saying but not the not his not his dick Bro, put this shit down, bro. What the fuck you got? <laughs> no, but I, 
I did, I gained 30 pounds since I moved here. And that's not anyone else's fault. Yeah, the kitchen could have been cleaner. <laughs> that's on all of us. I just don't think I built enough like consistent good habits for me to interrupt things the way I did when I moved here. I probably should have just done it slowly like a lot of the other guys are, where like over more Nigga time, yeah, yeah. He definitely like, whipped that you know, I'm over bro. more and more into the crib. And because I didn't do that, um, I started gaining weight and like I tried stopping it and I felt, I saw myself falling into like some of the bad habits that made me put on the 160 pounds. And like the precipice for me was, we're doing this deep and like the precipice Hopping in, I felt I saw myself falling into like some of the bad habits that made me put on the 160 pounds. Oh, when and put on 160 like the pounds, precipice God, for me was we're doing this deal with overtime. We have a, a beautiful overtime deal. Woo! I know, like I haven't even really told anybody. We're broadcasting their overtime elite games here. It's like 20 minutes from the crib. Uh oh, four, three, D oh, three. No! Oh my goodness! Do you see what I'm saying? I don't even know what this is. What does that mean? What is overtime? Like, congratulations, you know what I'm saying, for them, for that. I just don't know what that is, like, because I don't watch sports. See what I'm saying? That's, that's why I said I don't, I don't know everything. What, what, what is overtime? What, what, what is that? Oh, oh my God. goodness! There we go! Wow! Right. Mr. Peter, we're going to overtime right. at the right. overtime right. arena! Right. So we drive over there and we broadcast the games, and we were it's on only, stage. Oh, it's on league? Yo, okay. welcome to the arena. I, 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 I was gassed, man. It was me, Duke, and Davis, big a and piece. And they took a photo of us on stage. I was feeling myself, had my OT gear on. And then they posted the photo. And I was like, damn, like, what the f I can see the weight on me for the first time, bro. And I was like, something has to change. I've been trying though. Like, as, while I've been in this crib, I've been, I swear I've been trying, dog. It hasn't been like I gave up or I don't give a f about what I put in my body. This house is also where I record playback videos. I definitely care so, about again, what I put in my body, the majority bro. Of the time. That's why I had to throw that dildo away. Fire, yes, Dog, I, man, I wish, hey, no bullshit, I wish I was that talented enough to play the fucking piano, bro. That is one thing I do want to do. I want to play the piano again, because I did that shit when I was a kid. I learned the Brooklyn Academy of Music, and then all of a sudden I forgot that shit. I definitely want to do that, though. A little bit, man. This next one's for y'all, man. Imagine you get, imagine you get, imagine you get bitches to come over to your crib, you play the piano for them, bro. That's why I wish I could sing, nigga. I wish I could sing. Because I, I done wrote bitches songs, you know what I'm saying? Rap songs and shit. They was like, damn, that's meaningful and everything. But no, I, 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 one, one girl cried. Well, not nah, like, it was like two. Yeah, like two cried. Uh, yeah, like two cried. But like, nigga, when you rap, they don't really, you know what I'm saying? Why do they keep saying clip it? What happened? Why do they keep saying clip it? What are you going to clip? I had a table in the house that I was using for nothing but extra I, storage, so I'm moving what, that. What talent, what talent would y'all want to have, bro? For the hoes. What talent would y'all want to have for the hoes, bro? For the hoes, bro. I'd want to sing. That's what I'd want to do. Playing the piano would be crucial too, but I'd want to sing. I'd want to sing. Run it back. What, what are you running back? You niggas talking about clipping and running back. Y'all niggas be tripping. Your talent, three dubs said, would be make his penis grow 10 inches. Yep. Huge wee wees. What do you, like, y'all niggas just, y'all just can't just be serious. I can play guitar, so I'm good. I mean, yeah, that would definitely be a good one. Sing and dance. Yeah, I see, I want to know. I'm, I do want to dance, bro. I do want to be able to dance. Being able to talk to them. Wow, you can't even talk to the hoes. You got to get out there, my nigga. You got to get out there, bro. It's so easy to talk to women. That's the thing. That's the reason why with me, I look, if you don't, look, this is what you got to start doing. Stop trying to holler at women. Talk to them. Learn to talk to them before you learn to try to holler at them. Then you'll learn how to learn to socialize in general. Talk to people whenever you see people in public. If you ever really, if you really ever, if you're struggling like completely to talk to women, talk to random women in public and just say random things and keep it pushing. See somebody, hey, how you doing today? Say that. Tell them, you know what I'm saying? They're going to say how they doing. And then you say, oh, I'm doing fine. And then you just walk off. That's how you start it off. You get comfortable with those small interactions and you build up. It's very easy to socialize, but you, a lot of people are scared to even you know what I'm saying? Attempt it. You have to attempt it. You have to, you know what I'm saying? You you have to start. You have to start it. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of dudes are scared to start, but you have to start that shit like that. You start off like that. Say, for instance, on social media, I reply to plenty of women that I don't plan on talking to. Nigga, last night, even on, last night, bro, I had a conversation about this, the baby shit, everything like that with a girl that I went to high school with, and we never had one conversation in high school. Not a one single conversation. I think we talked for like well over an hour. And we ain't gonna fuck each other. I mean, you know, 
I would. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna fuck each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to holler at her. It was literally just to talk about the baby situation and keep it pushing. I don't know if I'm ever gonna talk to her again. You gotta learn, bro. You gotta, you gotta do that shit, bro. It's, just, it's easy as shit to socialize, bro. I mean, you you just got. I, I can hold y'all niggas. I'm saying it is what it is. Pretty get our ass knocked down. But I'm just saying, like, I'm. You gotta learn to talk to women in general. Look at put it like this: socialize with more people that aren't your friends, and then after that, start talking to women if you're so scared to talk to them. Like I said, small interactions build up until you build up to where you can have a full on conversation. Stand uh, a couple lights. One of my cameras that I rarely use. What's our at though? Come on, bro. That's not happening. The shotgun mic, a boom pole. I need to buy a few things. You already like smashed it. No, I did. Adapters, adapters, battery. Risk. What? I need to buy a few things like mixers, spigots, adapters. Oh, okay. I didn't know what he said. No, I, 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 I just told y'all we've never had one conversation in uh in in high school. There's batteries and. I thought he said uh some of those peoples. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we've never uh, we've never spoken. We never had one single conversation in high school. Things of that nature. And of course, you can't forget the hats. Having this dad car is literally one of my favorite purchases, y'all. Moto, okay. when he said when he said spigots, I, I thought he was talking about your peoples at first. I thought he was saying, you know, the B word. You know what I'm saying? B spigots, basically. Hey, agent, what are you doing to break some of those bad habits? Well, first of all, I hired a chef. The chef's gonna be making like keto meals or whatever I'm feeling like that week. I got a trainer, so I'm gonna be going to the gym consistently. I love when Phantom's in the city because he drags me along to the gym with him and we can work out together. And I'm gonna try and get to 10,000 steps a day, every single day. So I'm hoping that all three of those- This is why, the, man, bro, I love my kids. I love my kids. I love them. But if I didn't have kids, I'd be able to- You see all of these goals? You see all of these? <laughs> <laughs> yo, Moto, why did you block that? Yo, nigga, yo, <laughs> nigga, money. This nigga Moto just banned the term nigga. Yo, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> but, but I understand. But yeah, if I ain't have kids, nigga, I'd be doing all of this shit, nigga. Bro, if I didn't have children, y'all would be like, yo, nigga, I'd be a diesel ass, rich ass, in shape ass nigga. It's just you can't, like say for instance, when I'm done streaming, guess what I got to do? Edit and then try to go to sleep so I can wake up tomorrow and do everything I do before my daughter gets out of school. Those changes can get me back in the right trajectory. Nigglets. And I just know for me, I want my health, like my health. Nah, nah, nah Piccolo wasn't nigglets, he, you know what I'm saying? He said niggas. It's going to make sure that I feel energized all the time and that I feel good and compromising that for any. Uh, Diana Ross, like, kids ruined me. They didn't ruin me. They didn't ruin me. My kids didn't ruin me. I said I would just have more free time to accomplish my goals and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do say, like, a lot of y'all dudes just don't have kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't. Until you are established. Not even just established. Until you are successful, don't have children. Until you are the best version of yourself, do not have children. Thing is not worth it. But yeah, I've been noticing me, like, pulling on my shirts because I don't feel, like, so comfortable in things anymore. Or I don't... Like, Ellie, yeah, I love having my kids. I love having them. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Go ahead, delete Curry's last message, bro. That's nigga wildin'. Yo, delete that nigga message, mortal. You know what I'm saying? He he, he tripping. Like <laughs> now you doing too much. Now you doing too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, why y'all niggas niggas coming here with some wild shit now? Can y'all chill, please? Don't don't say anything. But yeah, man. Now it's it's good to have them. Like I love my kids. Y'all see that. But at the same time, like I said, having them at the right time would have been a lot better than having them in general fit in some of the things that I fit in just a few months ago. My body is crazy, y'all. Like, I could put on 30 pounds, and I can guarantee you in like a month and a half, I could lose this 30 pounds. See that which, if I just stay consistent, I can either gain or lose weight. It's crazy. Well, how are you gonna do it, agent? I think I'm gonna go back to keto. I just feel better when I'm on it. I also eat once a day. It usually saves me time and money, so I don't have to think about what I'm gonna eat and when I'm gonna True, but if he does meal prep, he wouldn't have to think about what he's gonna eat. That's why I told y'all niggas when I started this meal prep shit. Like lately, I ain't been meal prepping. I've been eating Chipotle. I've been eating Chipotle every day. I eat one bowl of Chipotle. I get my my calorie intake to lose weight. I should be having at least uh, what is it, seventeen to nineteen hundred calories to lose weight. You know what I'm saying at, at my weight, but um, I I get like twelve hundred. You know what I'm saying? And depending on if I'm eating like fruit or anything after that or any type of snack or anything, like, you know, try to get some protein, like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, my uh, my shit, I usually, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm around like 
1,200 calories a day, but I eat one bowl of Chipotle. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've been eating lately. But then after that, like my meal prep, I eat three times a day. When I eat my meal prep, I eat one chicken breast, and I don't weigh them anymore. But from, you know what I'm saying, because I get the same pack every time. It's a pack that, like, you can get. It's not like, you know, the packs that are just cut the way. It's like a certain pack that you can get, and they all look the same. Like, they're all around the same weight. You know what I'm saying? So that gives me like I think like a like 165 calories I think what is it 165 calories per chicken breast something like that. it's something like that you know what I'm saying so yeah that's what I do they eat it if I scatter my meals throughout the day and for some reason it just gives me more energy can't explain it to you that's so in the name it definitely does give you more energy when you're not eating like that I'm just trying to optimize my body I'm just trying to make it let me inside why are you saying not this one again what are you talking about. Decision that's gonna be best for that right there. Where I get my chicken from, I get it from Walmart. Again, don't try to sit there and come up, oh man, that's disgusting. Because I remember that Ash Cash bitch when uh, she was like, Y'all really get y'all vegetables from Walmart? Y'all are fucking disgusting. Okay, so why don't you just tell me where to get them from? So before you try to come on here, like, Oh, you get your you get your shit from Walmart? That's nasty. Okay, so tell me where to get them from. That's it. Tell me where to get them from before you even say anything. There. Okay, bud, look. I know you're trapped in here. The but door is oh. can open. You can head out. You don't have to be here, bro. You can leave, dog. I have great news. I hey, Lockie, just thanks. happened to but I got you, you know by myself. I got you. Another house. Kroger. And so oh. I thought, like, all right. Is it Kroger or Kroger's? Y'all know I'm black. I've always said Kroger's. Is it? Is it? I was about to say, but is it? Uh, is it? Is it Kroger? Or is it Kroger's? Is my black ass still gonna call it Kroger's? But is it Kroger or Kroger's? Which one is it? My black ass still gonna call it Kroger's regardless. It is Kroger? Wow. Agent, you know what I'm saying? You gained a little bit of weight. By little, I mean 30. That's more than a little. All right, let's say I gained a lot of weight. Ah! That's a tripod. My fault. To the farmer's Why market? Floor like that. Shit, cuz. Oh! My bad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm working on a video where I was like, all right, how can I lose this weight in the most entertaining way possible? Well, I could play We Fit for seven days to see how much weight I can lose. And so that's exactly what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel, man. That's going to be a banger. And we're at the house. I just really wanted you to watch that B-roll. Imagine just having two big ass I miss this bedroom so much. And if you guys remember correctly, and you follow me down here on this end... This right here is my studio that I used to use. I know some people like to separate their house from their work and their work from their house. I'm not like that. Yeah, I feel like the houses. easy solution might be like, all right, A&P crib is a workhouse and then this crib is like a home home. That's not how my brain operates. I want to be- Except so what does this man do? He is a YouTuber and not only that, he, he's, he's a YouTuber and he, uh, you know what I'm saying, is- uh, what, I mean, I'm sure he has investments and everything like that that he has. I know it's not just him being a YouTuber. I know he has like investments or something that he does to make him more money. Able to like, bro, if something pop out, just boom, next door, bow, I can record all of a sudden. Man, <laughs> my beanbag chair, yo. What's right there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got about fucking zero bicep muscles there for me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm chilling here, actually, because I definitely have to start setting up. I'm not trying to go for like an elaborate setup here. I'm just going, something simple. I just need something simple. A table, maybe a monitor. What was it? If I'm lucky, some place I can shoot videos, man. That's it. Ah! All right, we got ourselves a seat stand. We unbuckle it right here. Oh, oh. shit. Damn. Yeah, this, this is like the humblest setup I've had in like eight years, dog. So like days like today, everybody's at the crib. Phantom, Chris is back finally. Obviously Duke, Kai, Davis, and me. So I'm gonna be chilling at the crib for the most part. But the second all of them skedaddle to all their other responsibilities in life. This thing of law is gonna call it a crib stand. Boom, I'm in this. Look, I'll be honest, all those reasons I just Yo, I thought they had on lips. They go, hold on, we'll just change about this nigga lips. Crib for the most part, but the second all of them skedaddle. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Nigga lips change like a motherfucker. To all their other responsibilities in life. Boom, I'm in this. Look, I'll be honest. Them lips shiny in the I, I, okay. I see why you was spitting everywhere. I see it. I see why now. I see why now. All those reasons I just. Okay, I, I see agent, I see you. 
stated earlier in this video, just add on to the real reason why, which is this. The room is kind of, how I explain this? Not a real room. I don't want y'all to see this room and think it's a real room. Think of it like I'm outside and I put metal sheets up to block the it's weather outside and kind of make it feel like it's a room. But a real room has drywall, not metal plates because drywall is more expensive and we didn't want to spend a buttload of money. But more importantly, a real room would have insulation and insulation you put on the opposite side of the drywall so you can retain heat. So if it's cold outside, it's not gonna be that exact same temperature inside your room. On the summer days, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I, you, you might notice me sweating a little bit more on the hottest days. My cameras might overheat a little bit, but I could just thug it out. But on the, on the winter days, guys, it's not good. Yo, I'm usually the person that never complains about the weather. I get on like the podcast and I say how I don't feel it's cold. Sweat, well, it's like a stamina bar to it, you feel me? It is fucking brutal in this room in the winter, bro. And you know when like your balls shrivel up because it's like mad cold? That's like what my body's doing basically. Yeah, can't do it. Especially knowing that like, I have three other properties in Georgia. Why would I not just go to any one of those? Even when I have the heat blasting and I bought a second portable heater, it just doesn't do anything. It's too much cold. There's not enough heat you can throw in this room to stop the cold. But for me, luckily, I'm the only person in a &P that can slide to a house conveniently. So it's great that I took this room because if any of these other guys had this room, Duke driving back to South Carolina or Phantom going up to New York just wouldn't make sense. So I guess when you look at it like that, it's a fantastic thing that this is my room. Now listen, I'm not here to complain. I'm just here to state the facts. I can't sleep here during. Uh, yeah, facts. Yo, Chris, Chris Untouched it says subtle flex. That's a fact. In the winter. I have an idea of living out of my Ram truck to see how that is. And the guy who sold me the car let me know there's a generator in the vehicle and there's 12 volt plugs. So I could technically just live out of the truck if I wanted to. You can power things and charge phones and even potentially play PlayStation 5 right out the back of the truck with no generator. Yes. Uh, anyway, subscribe to the channel. I have some fun ideas I kind of want to do with that. If you guys have already subscribed, then I appreciate y'all, man. I'm going to catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Well, yeah. So he's leaving the AMP house, just going right back to his other house that's not that far away. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's good. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Y'all knew that was coming, bro. Y'all should have known that, bro.